So Habakkuk realized I must let God be God as I stand back and wait for him to work. Now, when I say that, it sounds like a cliche. You've heard it most of your Christian life. I'm going to stand back and wait for God to work. So I decided to put that into statements, simple one-line statements. There are five of them. These will be statements we embrace as we claim faith in our sovereign God. You say, I want to live like that. I want to believe like that. I want to have that kind of worryless faith and trust in my God. I'm tired of talking about it. I want to go there. I want to make that a reality. Here are the five statements. Please write them down. You ready? God is able, I am not. That's statement one. Just write it on the first line. God is able, I am not. There's nothing Habakkuk could do to fix his day, to change people around him. It was a great day in my life when I realized I can't fix anybody. But I serve a God who specializes in that. He's able, I am not. God is able, I am not. Here's the second. He knows what's best. God knows what is best. I do not. Now, because we're proud people, we think we do. That's why we keep doing what we think is the best. And we make a mess of things. And so when we embrace a life of faith and put our trust in a sovereign God, we say to him, God, you know what is best. I, I do not. I do not. I'm waiting for you to do what's best. Here's the third. He sees the end from the beginning. I cannot. God sees the end from the beginning. He sees it all. I cannot. That's called being infinite, and we are finite. He knows how all of this is going to work its way out. He knows all the answers at the back of the book. No problem is unsolved to him. We live in unsolved problems, and we can't see how they're going to work out. He sees it all. So this is third. He sees the end from the beginning. I cannot. Number four. He should have his way in this. I should not. He should have his way in this situation. I should not. And the fifth, God must be glorified through this. I must not. God must be glorified through this. I must not. I'll tell you, you memorize those five lines, your life will change. Your life will change. You will find that there will be calm in place of panic. You will rest rather than living restlessly. You will not search for a way to work it out on your own. You'll back away and you'll be comfortable leaving it with him. 